And hello, everyone, and welcome back to Cyrus Webb Presents. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. We're doing things a little bit different today. We're not simulcasting on Amazon Live today. Today, we're simulcasting on IG Live. It's our first time being able to do one of our Cyrus Webb Presents segments on IG. So I want to say hello to you guys joining us on Instagram. Hello to you, Harker Grind Magazine. I see you over there, Derek Hughes. Hello to you over on the IG side, Jacqueline Jones. We see you as well. Uh, hey, um, Smith, Smith Canigan, good to be able to see you as well. Stacey Loves, appreciate all you guys joining us over on IG. We also want to welcome those tuning in on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and X. Glad you all could join us as well. Excited to welcome back my friend Chris Collier to the broadcast today. He's an entrepreneur, an author, and he's gearing up for something very big that I have the privilege to be a part of. It's called the Branding Billions Conference. It's coming up on Saturday, June the 1st. You guys can see the information there. I want to talk to Chris not only about the idea for this conference, who it's for, what he hopes comes out of it, but also let you guys know how you can be a part of it in the Atlanta, Georgia area as well. If you guys are not staying connected with Chris, we'll let you know how to be able to do that as well. But Chris, my friend, great to have you back on the program. Pleasure's all mine, sir. Thank you for having me on. Yeah, glad to do it. It's always a fun time uh, with you. The last time we had you on Cyrus Represents, Chris, you were, of course, talking about your book at that time. But now here you are gearing up for your first Branding Billions conference. I want to talk about this experience for you. As I mentioned, you're an entrepreneur, you're a motivational speaker, you're an author. What has it been like for you, Chris, to use your platform to be able to motivate others, but also to push them forth in their own lives and careers? Well, see, at the end of the day, as if we're not creating true value for people, things that they where they can progress in their life, then we're not really doing a good job as a coach, a trainer, uh, a leader, a pastor. So my goal is to make people better. Um, there's an old saying, leave this place better than you found it. Yeah. And that's all I'm trying to do. Yeah. And you've been able to do that in so many great ways. I give Chris a hard time, but Chris really is one of those people who is so passionate about helping others and pouring into others. So, Chris, for you, when you kind of look at your journey and look at what you've done, I should mention, I didn't say this, Chris, you also are a podcast host as well. You have your own podcast as well. Was it just a natural progression for you now when it comes to this conference to be able to put something like this together? That's a great question, Cyrus. I really just want to say it gives me more you see, in a podcast, you're limited to the influence you can put on people or the impact you can have on them in the time you have because it's like one or two dimensional at max. But when you're right. in person, you have the atmosphere, you have the instruction, the information, and, and you can really impact people's life and maybe even change their whole life in a day or a weekend. So yeah. I really felt that. And I always had people tell me, if you could get on stage, you could make it big. And so, you know, the old saying is, if they don't invite you to the table, build your own table. So yeah. I'm building my own table. Yeah, I love that. Uh, Stacy said, this is amazing. I uh, love that. Cayman Kelly, hello to you, Cayman. Good to be to see you We're on the IG side. Uh, we also have Betty Bex joining us. Thank you so much for the follow also. Thank you for joining us uh, as well. And I love that, Chris. And, you know, I'm a big proponent of that myself. You know, it, it, we cannot wait on other people to always open up doors and opportunity. It's great when that happens, but it, you know, I think it's so important for us to be able to look for ways that we can be able to do that ourselves. So when it comes to the idea of branding, uh, branding billions, and again, I want to show our audience um, the flyer there, monetize yourself is what it says there. What is the premise of the conference, Chris? Well, when you go to a job, there's nothing wrong with the job. If that's, if you feel fulfilled at your job, great, keep it. But most people don't. Let's be honest. Most people don't. So if they're going to make money off of you, why don't you make money off of you? You're, you know, we talk, people talk about USP, unique selling proposition or the place you stand that makes you unique. What makes you unique is your background, right? Your, 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 um, your experiences, your, your propensities, your passions and your purpose, right? All those meld together to create your USP. Cyrus and I are both podcasters. We both do it different ways. There's room for everybody. There really is. And so you just got to go out there and take a bold step and do something different and make the impact on the people you're called to make an impact on. Most of Cyrus's audience or some of Cyrus's audience, I shouldn't say most, some of Cyrus's audience isn't imp impacted by me. Some of my audience isn't impacted by Cyrus. It's okay. 
you're called to your people and don't there's enough people to go around yeah i love that and it brings up another point chris that's so important that you and i have benefited from and that is you know collaboration over competition one of my friends manswell t peterson says it all the time about collaboration over competition so what is it like for you to bring these people together now for june the first to be able to share their own their own professions, their own abilities in a conference like this. What has that been like for you to kind of bring these individuals together, Chris? Well, you know, it's at first it's kind of scary, intimidating, because a lot of these people are six figure and plus earners. I'm not quite there yet, just be transparent. But here's the thing is the challenge is, is I can be. There's no, like you said, there's no real competition. We all help each other because guess what? There's somebody in one of those other speakers' office, whether it be Kim Ward. Monica Miller or Dr. Faith Abraham that will love to be a part of the Cyrus Webb or the Conversations Live family. They'll they'll blend right in. As a matter of fact, all four of those, all four of my speakers are authors. So we, authors fit in this. It's not just content creators and coaches and uh, I call it the creatives, right? The creatives, yeah. all the people who have some sort of creative, whether it be art, books, whatever, you fit in here. There's a way to monetize it more than just your art or your book. So you yeah. just got to figure out how, and you might be the only one to figure that out. And then you'll start training and people will follow you. So the thing right. is, is like, there's something for everybody. Mm -hmm. Such a great point. And uh, Stacy on IG says, we all need a seat at the table. And, and that, that is such a great point. And it's great, Chris. I want to give you credit. I give Chris a hard time, but I, people will say I give everyone a hard time. I give Chris a hard time. Um, but Chris, I'm so glad that you were able to put this together. I don't know the other speakers personally. I know by the end of this journey, we all will be able to know each other and be able, as you said, to be able to form our own connections. But let's talk about the audience. Because again, and I see you guys coming over on YouTube and also LinkedIn and Facebook. If you guys have any questions or comments for Chris, put those in the comment section. We do have it open for you guys as well as on IG. But uh, you say on the uh, flyer here for Branding Billions, Chris, a day of training, workshop, and experts guiding you through how to properly brand yourself, giving you the confidence and competence to be successful. For those who may be in the Atlanta, Georgia area, that's going to be taking place at the Double Tree in Roswell, Georgia. What do you hope they take away from this conference when they come? I don't want them to just get information. I want them to get transformation. If they feel questionable about starting a business of their own or branding themselves as their own business, you know, like let's take professional wrestling. I know some people might not like it. But what it is is they take a part of that person's character and they turn it up to 12 or 20 or 100, right? So that's what we want to do. We want to find what makes you tick and turn it up to 100. You know, the, 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 it's for anyone who's a creative, I say, right? Whether you're a podcast or author or whatever. So mm -hmm. those people, I want to see a transformation where they feel more competent and competent in what they do to build their brand, build themselves into something they can monetize. Yeah. So at the end of the end of the day, we wanted several days, but this is our first one. We're yeah. going to give you hopefully the competence and confidence to move forward in your life as your own brand. Right. Love that. I love that. I want to say for those who are just tuning in, welcome. You all are watching Cyrus Webb Presents. Excited to welcome back my friend Chris Collier to the broadcast today. Chris is an entrepreneur. He's a podcast host. He's a motivational speaker and author. He's also the creator of the Branding Billions conference that's coming up on June 1st. As you guys can see there, this is an all-day event that's on a Saturday. I will be there as well as the other speakers uh, you see there, uh, Kim Ward, Dr. Faith Abraham, Monica Miller. Uh, and as you see also on the flyer, uh, the registration that for the whole day is only $45. That's a great investment for the day. But there's also a VIP option. Uh, Chris, talk to us about that. What For those who wanted the VIP option, what do they get with that? Well, for those who are traveling from out of town, it's a great option for you because you're going to get there by three to get your hotel room. And so we're going the speakers are going out for a private dinner but at the end of the dinner you can come in for either dessert or um hors d'oeuvres whatever you want to do or you can get a full meal it's you get to be a part we're not covering your meal unfortunately this time mm -hmm. but you get to come in and, and have interaction with the speakers and get a jump on the day and then you'll also have some time during the day with the speakers and things so there's also some bonuses i'm not allowed to say yet okay. but that's what they get. And they get up front seating. They get front row seats. 
Awesome. First or second row. So that's what the $20 gets them right now. Love it. Love it. And I'm excited about this, uh, Chris, because I know one of the things we're going to be doing, you and I talked about, too, doing something special uh, with the broadcast as well, with those for VIP as well. So definitely excited about that, too. This is an exciting thing, Chris. You know, I, you know, conferences are something that I've just in the past five years started being a part of. So I was, first of all, honored that you would ask me um, to be able to uh, to be a part of this. Talk to us about the other speakers. What do you hope our audience are able to take away from them? Well, let's start with you, Cyrus, um, if I could. You yeah. are the great at building community and audience. So that's me, your fault. That's what I'm asking you to focus on. And you can help them, teach them the importance of audience, importance of com community. And it, you, first you get an audience and you tr create, you transform them into a community, right? So over time, how do you do that? How do you make them feel like they're all part of the same uh, cohesive brand, which is Cyrus Webb or Conversations Live or whichever project you're working on at the time. Kim Ward is, I, I nicknamed her the princess, the Pinterest pin princess, right? Mm -hmm. But she's actually graduated the princess, Pinterest queen. I'm sorry, I'm mm -hmm. stumbling over my own tongue. She's <laughs> going to tell you how to use Pinterest to get SEO so you get leads every day for whatever business you're in. Whether you Look at whether you're a network marketer, an author, a speaker, a coach, you can get leads from Pinterest. It's not just arts and crafts, y'all. I'm not going to say much more about her. Dr. Faith Abraham, she is a bona fide doctor, first off. She's a um, president of a university. She has several books. When I say several, she might have as many as you, uh, Cyrus. She has seven or eight or ten. Mm -hmm. Um she has several streams of income she's created, so she knows how to brand and package herself in different ways to, to win, to have success. Monica Miller is a messaging master. She uh, had problems um, early on in life with uh, speech. She had some speech impediments, some speech problems. She overcame that, and she learned how to write. So she can teach you how to write your message so it impacts people. So you're not just writing for writing's sake. You're writing to impact. So those four, and you got me, I'm kind of like the um, sinews and the uh, marrow that hold everything together. And uh, I'm coming, I'll am i be coming from a, a biblical perspective because that's my background as a pastor. I'm going to teach you, like, for example, uh, messaging or branding, Habakkuk 2.2. Write the vision, make it clear. No one's going to follow you unless your vision is clear. And that's one of the biggest problems we have as entrepreneurs. We get convoluted in doing different things. So... You know, we might have shiny, you know, I'm, I'm guilty. I, I've had shiny object syndrome several hundred times as an entrepreneur. So how to overcome that? Yeah. So you got to make the vision plain. So watch this. The Bible says he who reads it may run with it. Well, guess what? You have to read your own vision. One, to yeah. build it into yourself. And two, so you follow it. <laughs> and then three, right. so others can read it and follow it. So those are the four people we have. We might have a couple surprises. Um, I'm working out. I almost had a major name, but it they wanted a uh, million dollars or something. And, uh, <laughs> so, um, so yeah, and uh, but yeah, I'm excited with the people we have because they're all n experts. They all know what they're doing. They all are great in their own right. And I'm excited because when I start seeing cross collaboration, when we all get ready to leave, um, yeah. I'm excited about that. Love that. I am as well. Uh, Stacy, I see you over there on IG. Stacy says, Cyrus is a male version of me. <laughs> so I appreciate you, Stacy. Uh, hello to you, Brandon Coleman. Good to be able to see you over there on IG uh, as well. Uh, and uh, Stacy says, I've been an entrepreneur for six years. And Stacy, you've been doing amazing work as well. Melissa Banks is joining us over on Facebook as well. Hello to you. She says, hello to you as well, as well. Chris and Angela. Uh, says uh, that June 1st is her birthday as well. So this is a great question that Angela poses. Um, I know the event is in person. Are there any any virtual opportunities with this, Chris? Um, we are working on that. I know okay. a guy. I think it's going to be, I, I, don't, I really don't want to say this now, but I, I will. Sure. You kind of forced my hand. Uh, mm -hmm. It's probably going to be $20, but we got to see how the seating is first. Because okay. I don't want to give away the twenty dollars seats. You gotta understand this is as a businessman, this is my business. Yeah. I don't want to give away twenty dollars seats when I have forty five dollars seats available. But right. most likely it's gonna happen. It'll be closer to the event. So keep your eyes peeled on the event. 
keep your eyes peeled uh, on the pages. Uh, it's www.brandingbillions.com. Very simple, straightforward. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, there's a website right there. And that's that is a great question, um, Angela. So thank you so much for putting that that up there. But again, guys, this is a very, a very uh, big event, I think, for entrepreneurs. And what I love that Chris is doing here is he's bringing people from different different categories, different spectrums of business um, to be able to pour into you. And again, I'm excited about that. I love talking about um, the the community aspect of this all. And I think, you know, for a lot of people out there, Chris, this is exactly what they need. And they, I mean, it's hard to believe we're already in quarter two, you know, of, of this year. And by the time, of course, your your conference comes around, we'll be at the tail end of quarter two. So it really does and show. Quarter three, quarter three right. <laughs> yeah, wow. exactly. So yeah. yeah what, ahead, a great time, what a great time to launch your business. Like if you haven't got to it and you had a New Year's resolution, Listen, I just want to say something to people. Anytime you make an, a decision to do something, there's always something that comes against it right away. Yeah. It's in the Bible. Um, God said, let us make, let's create the heaven and the earth. Right after that, it said the earth was without form and void and darkness came upon the face of the earth. Wait, I thought he was creating. Everything was in chaos. So anytime you have an intention to create, attention to do, an intention to do, something comes against it. And so if you decide to do something and you haven't taken action, get your ticket. See you in Atlanta or Roswell, actually. But we call it Atlanta still. Yeah. And I think that's the cool thing here. And, and I'm so glad, Chris, that you're making this available. So, again, so let's recap for our audience here. For those who are just coming in, we're talking about the Branding Billions Conference coming up on Saturday, June the 1st. 2024. Of course, that's going to be at the Double Tree Roswell in Roswell, Georgia, as you heard Chris just say. Uh, the, uh, the registration, the tickets for the day, and it's a full day event, is $45 for the VIP, which includes an event uh, on Friday evening, is $65 and some other perks as well. Um, the website you guys see there is brandingbillions.com. Um, so make sure you guys go there for more information about myself. The other speakers is there too, and Chris as well. Chris, I'm excited about this, man. Congratulations on your first conference this year. What about for yourself? How can our viewers and listeners stay connected with you? Uh, find me on Facebook. Um, <laughs> Angela, we'll see you before I land. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> that's my wife, y'all. Um, right. Uh, Facebook, YouTube, you can find me. It's either Conquer with Chris or Chris Collier or The Chris Collier. Mm -hmm. uh, several different brands running at the same time. You can find me, uh, and you can, uh, that's the best way to find me. YouTube, Conquer with Chris, uh, Facebook, Conquer with Chris, or uh, Minister Chris Collier. Uh, but I want to encourage people who are in the Southeast, it's not too far to travel. Hmm. You know, I just, I drove five hours today to go to Mississippi, Biloxi, Mississippi. Hmm. It's not too far for you to come for a day event. Maybe you stay Friday night, get your VIP ticket, spend the day. You leave, you can be home by 10, 11 o'clock. It's not yeah. too hard, especially for younger people. <laughs> to get older, it might be a little more challenging. But yeah. you're three, four hours away from Atlanta, come on. Come yeah. On. And again, what, thinking about what you're going to get as well, I think that's the other big thing here. Hello to you, Angela. It's great to be able to see you as well. I'm excited about this, Chris, for sure. Congratulations to you again. Definitely looking forward to uh, joining you there on uh, of course, we're, well, June, of course, June 1st, but also I'll be seeing you before then uh, as well. And definitely looking forward to staying connected with you. And we thank you, our viewers, for being with us for this episode of Cyrus Web Presents. We wanted to simulcast this a little bit different because we wanted to make sure the information got out there uh, about the conference and also so we can stay connected with Chris as well. So if you guys are joining us on IG, of course, the replay will be available if you guys came in late. I uh, appreciate you all joining us live. I appreciate you guys joining us on Facebook, YouTube, and X as well. I'm sure there's someone there on, on LinkedIn. I didn't see any parts or anything over there, but uh, the replay will be available for you guys too. And Chris, looking forward to our next chat together, man. My pleasure, sir. All right. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Cyrus Web Presents. Until next time, you all make it a great one. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.